Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Sendangle Teacher. And today's lesson is on coloring. I have been commissioned to do uh, a few pieces for a friend for a Christmas gift, and I've got three of them done, and I thought I need to do four, and I thought I should color one on camera to just show how I blend my colored pencils. Here is the first one. Here's the second one. Of course, I did each piece by hand and did not um, photocopy, just so they're just done by hand, so each one's different. And here's the third. And I'm getting ready to color this one. So I'm just going to let you watch me color this so you can see how I blend my color. So I'm going to kind of zoom in on the Zentangle part that I'm going to color. And and I picked me out um, several, several Prisma pencils that I want to use and I've got them lined up here. Matter of fact, these are the colors that I'm using and I'll try to tell you that what color I'm using. And I always sharpen with a, uh, a plain little hand sharpener. And so some of mine might have to stop and sharpen. But I'm going to start with the, the large center one. And, um, and I believe I'm going to do it a couple of colors. So I'm going to blend probably these, these three colors and maybe add um, a little gold or something to it. We'll have to see how, what happens. But we're going to start out with um, a light, and this one is lavender. And I'm just going to put a lavender color right around the outside edge. And I decided I'm going to go down through there and then around each one of these and I'm pressing fairly hard laying down quite a bit of pigment okay, now I'm going to take a shading stump and I like the little inexpensive paper rolled up ones they tend to work the best for me and odorless paint thinner and I've got some in my little I keep it in a little jar so I don't have to have my big one open and I just dip you're gonna see me dip my in my pen in my order of paint there then I'm just going to blend and I did not put enough lavender down here I'm gonna put a little bit more right on top of that odorless paint thinner so it will blend it out what this does is it it melts the pigment in the in the pencil and helps you blend it. I must have had something on my um, shading stump that gave it a little brown color there. But that's okay, we'll camouflage that. Now I'm picking up a dark purple. A little dark purple here. And I want to smooth out so that there is no pencil line. I had a little pencil line there. Don't want you to be able to see that That pencil line at all. And I'm going to take a little bit of the yellow and put on the upper side of that line. And to keep from mixing the colors, and I'm just going to clean off that shading stump a little bit with my 
emery board. Moisten it again. And blend the yellow up into the purple. And this is Dion, the Tangle Pattern Dion that I'm coloring. And it dries fairly quickly. And I will come back here and, and add some more accents to that. Okay, now let's just color some of the other outside edges. Let's do the leaves. And I'm using a dark green. Now I'm going to blend this color in with my shading stump. And now I'll take my blending stump For me, it's just magic. I've tr I've tried using watercolor pencils and watercolor, but I don't find I have as much control as if I do with my shading stump and odorless paint thinner. And I like to blend until I really don't see a line. I don't want a, a line visible. I want it pretty much blended right out. And this little tangle that's called Joy is fun to do. I usually put a little... Now I'm going to leave the green that's on there. And it's going to just... blend in with that maroon color. I have added a little green. <clears throat> to my tangle afterwards. I'm going to add a little bit of that. I like that color and I'm just going to add a little tiny bit. I'm going to repeat that same color here. I blended the purple down and now I'm blending the yellow up into the, the purple. Just kind of blend it in. And you can see how easy that is to blend. can do these little build of flowers out here on the outside edge with a little yellow and then I can use and this is surprising how about the cool gray and just add a little bit of cool gray right along that line okay I'm going to take a clean shading stump. I've cleaned off the shading stump and now I'm wetting it. And then I'm going to blend the yellow down and the gray up a little bit. And we're going to get a nice little shading there. I love that effect. We'll take it, we'll do it again. We're going to put in yellow across the top. And then cool gray, just a line of cool gray 
right on that and then blend. Okay, now we're going to do this last little joy. <clears throat> and this little tangle is great. Just done. We'll just put a little green. And on sands where we're going to use that cool gray again and I'm just going to put a little right down here and in this swirl just right at the beginning that cool gray is a great substitute for for graphite because it, graphite has a sheen to it and this does not, this will blend in with the other colors if you want that little um, gray look. So we need a, just a tad more green. So I'm going to pick up dark green and I'm going to put it in my little one, two, threes, just in the two part of the one, two, three tangle. And now I'm going to blend it out. And I have a little bit on my shading stuff, so I can put some out here in this area. Because I just need a little bit. Don't want too much on those tentacle things. And there we have the shading. Now we need to let it dry, and I'm going to come back in with my micron and add a few more um, little uh, essentials that I like for it. So I'll come back in just a few minutes. We'll let it rest, and then we will add a few more accents. Now that the um, paint thinner has dried, I'm going to come back, and I'm just going to add some little dots over the top, just a little stipple. I have to admit that I didn't like the bright yellow, so I added a little green in here, but the camera wasn't on, and I like it a little bit better. Even just a little stipple out here on the edges help give it a little movement. And there we have coloring on um, a Zentangle inspired art using, I'm using Prismacolor pencils and odorless paint thinner. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment below. I love comments. And shopping at inkadoodles.com helps support this channel. And have a great day.